All right, all right, guys. So me and Ethan are back at it again. We are Nine more that we do need. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, but we're going to the hard body. It's not too far of a drive, so we're gonna go in the hard body and look at it and stuff. Um, pretty much, gotta put in gear first. We already left the deposit on it, so. And yes, obviously it has an LS in it because we want to buy something that doesn't have an LS in it, or we want to be getting an LS. So. Unless it was something we were getting to put an LS in. Yeah. But this is going to be bought for pretty much a parts truck for one of the trucks that we picked up um, for his daughter's truck that we're putting together. And he already picked up a transmission. Damn, sliding everywhere. So, yeah, it's not too far of a drive, but we're going to head over there and put some air in the tires and stuff because I'm sure it does. And I don't even know if we need a trailer for this one. That's where we're going in hard body. So, I think we'll just be able to hopefully pull it it doesn't run for the simple fact that they pulled a fuel tank out of it to put a fuel pump in it correct yeah. so they put a they're putting a fuel pump in it it's been sitting for a while but it's got a 6.0 in it so which is the lq9 right that one's got no it's lq4 oh lq4 okay so but yeah we're on the main road turning onto the main road right now and then we can start our journey over there so, not too far but yeah. Why not take the hard body out a little bit? But, all right, guys, so we're going to pull into the guy's house now and <laughs> look at the truck. It's literally the neighbor's house. <laughs> but this driveway is tore up. Look at this thing. Oh, my goodness. Sky up a roost. <laughs> yeah, let's get up this driveway and I'll show you all the truck. All right, guys, so here it is. Uh, I believe it's an O2. GNC Denali. So if it was just regular Yukon, I believe it would just have a 5.3 in it. But being a Denali, it will have the 6.0 in it. So it's been sitting for quite some time. All the tires are flat. Here's a gas tank. Like I said, they pulled a tank out of it to do the fuel pump in it. But apparently never got to it. So let's go ahead and pop this hood if I can. Nope, I can't. Who's calling me? Someone's calling me. My wife is calling me, but yeah, um, got to get air in the tires and put a tire or wheel on here, so, which I think is this one here. Get off these jack stands and go from there. Holy crap. That thing is tweaked, boy. What were they doing? Sheesh. All right, so you got air in that one. I'm working on this one right now. And then over here, he went ahead and got air in this one. And then that already has enough air in it. So we're going to go grab the jack, jack it up, and the impact so we can put the wheel on. Show how that bends the arm. Yeah, I think I showed them, but I don't know how good I did. But check this out, guys. Like, why would you put a jack, that, like that, first of all, this little ass jack under here, you know? All right. And then there's a center block down under the truck, too, we got to get out. It's like under it, yeah. Not sitting on it, but it's under it. Five, yep. And then there's another one there. We got to get these out so when we lower it, it doesn't destroy the bottom of the truck. And then hopefully we have the hardware for the straps for the gas tank. <coughs> nice. Of course. Let's load this up so you can uh, take it over there. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go ahead and throw this in the bed of the truck. And then I'll come back with the jack and the impact so we can go ahead and get this all on the ground and get it moved out of here all right so we got the jack here going ahead and got it jacked up some gonna get that center block out of there you know what? and then we'll try and from the other side get the other one and then we'll get the wheel on pull it out, pull it out. you don't have to spin it that much Just... yeah. first time on four wheels in probably quite a while Mm -hmm. but, so, we're gonna finish getting stuff out of it and then i'm pretty sure we'll just hook up the hard body to it and pull it over there all right guys so we got everything done the owner of the truck came and grabbed everything he had in the truck out so we're waiting on that but got air in all the tires 
and got the tire put on this one. So we got a strap tied here. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this to the hard body and then give her some tug of roos. Probably just put it right through that hole right there. Let's see, yep, right there. And maybe it'll help straighten out this bent frame that I wasn't told about, you know? But that's what happens when you deal with shady ass people. But dude's lucky that he's not around anymore because I would have gave him a piece of my mind, you know what I'm saying? But that ought to do. So let's see what happens. Ready? Yep. Yep. It is. Oh shit, the strap came off. Keep coming off on your way, fool. Quit yanking me. I can't see. <laughs> Quit fucking riding the Do that when you beat on it but it doesn't smell hot all right guys so um going up the driveway because it's the, all the rain has been getting out here and this grass gets or the ground gets really like slippery and muddy it just was spinning tire i want to go up that driveway either said if i wasn't being a bitch and hit it harder i would have been able to make that 
but dude this thing is like really low up front and i ain't trying to destroy stuff like get ready the other day we were doing something with the truck and like ate up the tire on it so but my buddy steve's here with his truck and he got a big old lifted chevy um my buddy that we went to the junkyard with <clears throat> so yeah he's gonna pull up to the denali over there and we'll strap up and tug her on down the rest of the way so let's get down to run down this quarter mile driveway get down to the denali and pull it up here all right guys so <clears throat> also the other day that's going to be mating up to that 6.0 is the 4L80 that Ethan picked up the other day. I think I mentioned it earlier in the video, <clears throat> but yeah. What is that out of? I got 04, 2500. Yeah, it's out of an 04 HD truck pretty much. So 2500, which will be the same trans in that, right? Mm -hmm. But two wheel drive. That's a four -wheel yeah. Drive, yeah. So, and then with that 6.0, with that is going into Peyton's truck or is it going in? Peyton's truck. We'll be going into his daughter's truck, the one that we took the wheels off of. I don't know if you guys saw that in the video because I lost a lot of clips in it. But the truck that fell off the jack stands right there, that's where it's going to be going in. So, right. Apparently, I just noticed it right now. So we got to check out any damage on that and see how it fell off the jack stands because it looked like it got pushed over the way it fell. All right, guys, so I'm going to go edit the video. I noticed I didn't close out the video, but... Here's where the Denali is. We got it posted up for now. And then when we're ready for it, we'll go ahead and get to it. We got a few things we got to do on other projects first before we get to it. But the neighbor was moving out. And yeah, Ethan got a pretty good deal on this thing. So our plan is we're just going to pull the engine out of it. That's the only thing we want from it. Let's see. I think the hood's fixed now. I think the latch was messed up earlier. Yep, got the 6.0. I think the plan is we're gonna pull this 6.0 out of here and then either part out the rest of it or whatnot. Either was even thinking of pulling a six, this 6.0 out and dropping a 5.3. Pulling the 6.0 out of this and dropping a 5.3 in the truck to make it a running driving truck and um, sell it. Obviously we'll let them know that originally had a 6.0, but we put a 5.3 in there, but we'll make sure it's all good and running. I sell the whole thing off for you know, a little bit more than what we paid for the car or the truck. Just make a little bit of money to help go into other stuff and fund, you know, buying the 5.3 that would be going back into it. So, but it's a clean little truck, you know. I like them. My uncle had one back in the day. But, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. We'll go ahead and get this edited up and ready to be posted. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. And, yeah, thumbs up, subscribe. Comment below, share these videos, guys. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers and I'm gonna keep pushing. So, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out and God bless.